<laughs> Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboPhil.com and welcome to my robot weekly update number 20. Today we're looking at car swarming. Movement matching. And weightlifting robots. <coughs> Car moving robot swarm. You probably wouldn't realise they're coming until it's too late. Tiny robots the size of A4 sheet are being programmed to lift cars that are up to two tonnes in weight. Working together, these creepy machines are able to sneak up unnoticed and silently remove the target from the scene. The robots, collectively called Avert, are the creation of the European Consortium led by the Democritus University of Thrace in Greece. Autonomous multi-robot systems for vehicle extraction and transportation, short, avert, computer first selects the vehicles to be moved after cameras have mapped the area in detail. The avert system then works by sending a deployment unit to scan the area again and identify new potential obstacles. Once this has been done, bogies deployed from the deployment unit are tracked to the target vehicle where they dock onto the wheels and lift the car. These bogies are fitted with onboard sensors including two lasers and a digital camera. The sensors help the avert tool move the vehicle without human intervention while avoiding obstacles. While these systems may seem creepy, it could have important implications for bomb disposal teams. Researchers envision the system being used by the police to remove suspicious vehicles potentially rigged with explosives from within buildings. Current methods of bomb disruption and neutralisation are hindered in the event that the device is shielded, blocked or for whatever reason cannot be accessed for examination, the researcher wrote on their site. Avert can provide an autonomous capability to remove blocking vehicles which is not currently available. Other uses include removing cars parked in a tight spot or helping vehicles move within a car park without a driver. The team has been working on this technology since 2012 and believes the production model could be ready by next year. They'll be showcasing the system on the upcoming International Conference on Robotics and Automation, that's ICRA 2015, on May the 26th to the 30th in Seattle. Movement matching robots. Games and interactive movies are fun, but modern virtual reality systems like Oculus Rift also have the ability to let people travel and experience the world without ever leaving their couch. And the Dora Telepresence robot, which can perfectly match the movements of someone wearing a headset, will help make the VR experience even more immersive. Instead of using a remote camera that captures a 360 degree view of everything going on around it, so that the Oculus wearer can look around in all directions, Robot researchers at the University of Pennsylvania developed DORA, stands for the Dexterous Observational Roving Automation, with a pair of movement matching cameras that serve as someone's remote eyes. Each of DORA's cameras can stream live 976 by 582 video at 30 frames per second, which is much less than what the latest version of the Oculus Rift can display, but given the system is still in the research stages, there's a lot of room for improvements. A VR headset is already able to track the wearer's movement and position, so that information is transmitted to Dora over the line of sight radio link, allowing it to be perfectly mimic every turn, move and subtle shift. And since it's mounted on a mobile robotics platform, it can let someone wearing the VR headset explore wherever they want. The potential for such a robot is staggering. It could give those living with disabilities a new sense of freedom and movement. Emergency responders will be able to safely explore an area too dangerous for humans to enter without the restrictions of a static camera mounted to a more traditional robot. And museums and art galleries could even rent out a Dora-like robot to allow visitors from around the world to peruse their collections without them having to spend a dime on airfare. Tiny Robot carries up to 2,000 times their own weight. Tiny robots that can pull objects up to 2,000 times their own weight have been developed at the Stanford University. The miniature robots, dubbed Micro Tugs, have powered equivalent to a human dragon, a blue whale, according to the website detailing the development. The scientists behind the Micro Tugs took inspiration from nature, 
were in techniques used by geckos and ants in their design. These robots could be used in factories or building sites. The team at Stanford, including PhD student David Christiansen and Elliot Hawkes, demonstrated a 9 gram robot that can carry more than 1 kilogram vertically up glass. This is equivalent to a human climbing a skyscraper while carrying an elephant. Another one that weighs just 20 micrograms but can carry 500 micrograms was so tiny it had to be built under a microscope, using tweezers to put the parts together. The secret to the robot's strength lies on the sticky feet, which is copied from the geckos, some of nature's most adept climbers. The hardest part in the development of these guys was coming to the realisation that this was possible, Mr Christiansen told the BBC. He had worked on making things with adhesives before, but not considered combining it with robotics. When we stepped back and thought about it, this was actually a really great use of our adhesives. With its tiny contact force required and ability to engage and disengage many times a second, he said. The team covered the robot's feet with tiny robot spikes that bend and stick to the surface. When the robot picks its foot back up again, the spikes strengthen out and detach. It was really fun project to work on. Seeing those robots in action for the first time was pretty incredible, said Mr. Christiansen. The next step, he said, would be about looking at ways to make multiples of them working together as a team and scaling up the technology to larger bots with more industrial parts and a whole lot more force. The Pentagon Research Unit, DARPA, is working on a similar technique that would allow a man to scale a wall with no climbing equipment, rather like Spider-Man. Its Z-Man program was shared with the public in 2014, although it has been in development for several years. The Microtug robots will be on show at the International Conference on Robotics and Automation taking place in Seattle next month. That's it guys for your weekly World Robot News, I'm your host Philip English. If you like this weekly report and want to see more of the latest robot news, reviews and robot tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date. I'll put further information about the robots in the weekly robot update in the links below, as well as extra web links for your review. If you have a robot product that you would like to do a review for or do a tutorial for, then please ping me over a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.